the seaside towns, it was wits and fun with victory flavouring. The South Coast sun seekers got a chilly reception. Ice cream was there, but finding no takers in weather that called for lashings of hot tea. And just to make Mother feel quite at home, it turned out more of a Q holiday than a V one. Ramsgate, Rottingdean, Hove, Brighton, it was the same story. It may have been near midsummer day, but the thermometer I hadn't heard of it. Only warm spots in the south were the pleasure parks and frolicsome fairgrounds. It's wonderful. They saw the sea, but it didn't go to their heads. Up to the ankles was enough, and the inevitable holiday snap was there to prove they did go in. Sea winds flapped the empty deck chairs in a weekend that brought more goose flesh than sunburn. For the southerners, V. Whitson was wild, wet and windy. Prize winner in the weather stakes was Glasgow, where crowds packed Kelvin Grove Park for a sample of the open air dancing that Londoners missed. Local concert parties collected their biggest ever audience. Coloured coons were missing, but the banjo rattled up the seaside atmosphere. Still holiday bound, Pathé took the high road that leads to Loch Lomond. Whitson there was quiet and bracing, with steamer trips bringing the beauty of the loch to town-tired folk from Scotland's big cities. From the bonny bonny banks, the vacation picture goes to the heart of every Scotsman. And for the lads and lasses of Lancashire, there's always bouncing, bustling Blackpool, where the tower looks down on shrimps, chips and winkles, and a 50-year tradition of giving a rake good time. In these parts, the hand that guides the cradle holds the rock. Southport was well in the bad weather belt. This was Whitson on the lake. While these celebrators packed London's hub of empire, Manchester's Piccadilly took time out for a holiday rest. Only parader at the Cenotaph was a veteran with every medal since Waterloo. News of food cuts and favoured Germans scraped the jam off the bread ration, and plans for synthetic beer knocked the froth right off the holiday spirit. We may have to put up with no this and no that, but we're not going to pretend to be pleased about it. Mr. Chad puts the situation in a nutshell. <laughs>